Let us now look at the status of education in Pakistan. As already said, Pakistan has not been able to bring all children in school. We have failed. What are we going to do? How do we make sure that all our children, school-going age, especially at the primary and elementary level, get to a school? A lot of soul-searching and thinking will need to be done if we expect to achieve this even in the next 5 to 10 years. Why do we have low enrollment in our schools? There are two reasons. One is there is rapid population growth. Now, when you look at rapid population growth, you might hope that more children would be in schools. Unfortunately, that has not happened. Even with the rapid population growth, we've had fewer children going to schools because older siblings, especially girls, tend to be mothers for the younger sibling while the mother is busy doing the housework and all that. And so, even with increased population, all our children are not getting to school and the population growth is not helping achieve full education. Resultantly, what has happened? With fewer people going to school and more people dropping out because boys are expected to do field work, especially in the rural areas. Girls are supposed to help at home. So dropout rates, even if children get into school, getting out in five years or seven years down the line, depending on whether you got in at nursery level or grade one level, will make a difference. So the if we had smaller populations, smaller family sizes, where mothers were free to do the housework without having to worry about younger siblings. And so the older siblings and the only siblings could be in school, our literacy rate would be higher. In fact, Pakistan's illiterates have multiplied. There were 20 million in 1951. That number rose to 50 million in 1998. So it more than doubled, and that's not a good sign. If we want those numbers to change and reverse, we will have to make sure that our young children are in schools. It is estimated at present that about 55 million Pakistanis of age 10 plus cannot read and write and 7 million children of age group 5 to 9 years are out of school. These are children of elementary school age, of primary school age. If you can't read and write, and we are not talking about reading and writing English, we are talking of reading and writing in Urdu. Even that is not what our children that age can do. If they cannot read and write their mother tongue, it is extremely more difficult for them to read and write another language like English. And we know, unfortunately, that without English today, children will not be successful in the future. In rural areas, however, about 52% girls are not enrolled in schools and 67% women are illiterate. Again, there are two reasons for that. One is, of course, the overpopulation, more children with women having to do the housework, who is going to look after the, older, the, the younger children. And therefore, the older children are utilized to help work as maids and look after the smaller children, the younger children, so that women can do the housework. And secondly, because the women themselves never went to school, they've not received a primary education, and therefore it only makes the matter much more complex and more difficult to solve. When a mother hasn't been to school and she survived and is happy, so to say, in the circumstances that life has bestowed on her, she's not going to have her daughters go to school either. An educated mother is a key to a girl going to school. Low education indicators in Pakistani society have negatively affected all spheres of life. So, with children not going to school, obviously you have, when women go up and they are looking for female doctors, where are they supposed to find them? If 
women, if young girls never go to school, never get through primary, secondary, professional education, where are the women doctors coming from? Where are the nurses coming from? So even if women need women's services, they're not going to get it unless the young girls are in school today. That ends up being a critical issue for us to address if we want that to change in the future for the women. Due to low rates of literacy and primary education, Pakistan is being ranked at lowest ranking of below 125th position in the Human Developmental Index for the past 20 years. That's a miserable number to be at. I don't know how anybody would be proud of say, oh, I'm at the 125th position of Human Development Index. For 20 years, we've been there. If that needs to change, our young people, boys and girls, will need to be in schools.